All right, for our, uh, week three lab, this is uh, I'm going to demo what we're going to be doing. We're going to be installing uh, VirtualBox. So first things first, uh, launch your browser, and I'll size this window up so that you can see what I'm actually doing and I'm gonna do a Google search so navigate to Google do a, virus has been do a search for virtual box go to the download screen or click on the download link and then we're gonna choose virtual box 402 for Windows hosts now, if you're going to be doing this at home uh, and you're running a Mac, this is the option that you're going to want to download and install. But here in class, we're actually going to use VirtualBox 402 for Windows Host. So click on that and click on Save. And we're just going to save it to our desktop and click Save. So as we wait a few seconds, I'll, I'll pause the video while I'm actually downloading so I won't torture you guys. Okay, so once it's actually finished downloading, uh, I'm going to leave this up. I'm just going to minimize it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install it. So I have the installation package right here. So I'm going to run through this real quick. Uh, double click the install it'll prompt me to run the application if you're running Windows XP or Mac uh, might or might not uh, we have the welcome splash screen here Oracle uh, VM VirtualBox 4.0.2 setup uh, it'll walk you through the installation wizard so at this point we just click next all of the default options uh, are okay to use so we'll go ahead and click next create a shortcut desktop and uh, create a shortcut in the uh, quick launch bar is okay these are okay click next this is a warning saying that it's gonna install uh, a couple of drivers for your network card this is okay just click proceed with the installation now let's click yes uh, ready to install just make sure that the final settings uh, a lot of software when you uh, install this it just wants to uh, usually uh, prompts you with a second OK page so you can go ahead and click install and as it runs through the install uh, this will take a few minutes but as it runs through the install um, it's basically installing uh, all kinds of files uh, not only the drivers that we talked about earlier but it's also installing dynamic link libraries uh, how it's going to actually interface with uh, the operating system uh, where it's going to place the shortcuts so there's a lot of things that are actually going on in the background uh, while installing an application on Windows 7 you might get a prompt uh, that says do you trust uh, Sun Microsystems of course we do click on yes if it pops up and then it'll run through the install process I'll just pause here for a second. Uh, it popped up. Uh, do you want to install the uh, drivers? Yes, of course. Always trust Sun Microsystems. Click install. And once it's actually done, you could actually give it a, a start here. Um, so start Oracle VM VirtualBox 402 after installation, of course. Say finish. 
and there's VirtualBox. Pretty straightforward installation. Now what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually set up our first virtual machine. Uh, that'll be in the next segment. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this one short and we'll run through the setup process in the next in, uh, installment. All right. Thanks.